हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग टुडे हियर वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पीवीसी एंड एक्सएलपी केबल हियर इज सिंगल कोर एक्सएलपी केबल it has pvc outer sheath copper tape screening xlp insulation aluminum and or copper stranded conductor conductor screening xlp insulation screening and here 1. 1 kv pvc or xlp power cable cross sectional view here is outer sheath next is armoring next is inner sheath next is insulation next is aluminum or copper conductor here is xlp power cables up to 19 oblique 33 kv grade 33 kv arched systems cable here is pvc outer sheath armoring pvc inner sheath pillar stranded conductor conductor screening and next xlp insulation insulation screening and metallic screening now i am going to discuss about some definition related to power cable first one is conductor the conductor of cable are made of stranded aluminum or copper and formed in circular oval or sector shaped circular conductors are suitable for extra high voltage the advantage of the oval and sector shaped conductor is the reduction of interstices between core so we get smaller overall diameter of the cable for a given conductor area next insulation the function of the insulation is to prevent leakage of current the most commonly used insulating materials poly vinyl chloride or pvc and cross linked polyethylene or xlpe conductor screening next next conductor screening for high voltage cables 11 kv 33 kv 66 kv grade conductor is covered with layers of semiconducting xlp compound to electrically smoothen out the conductor surface and prevent uneven electrical stress next core screening a screening of thin copper tape on thin layer of semiconducting xlp compound over xlp core insulation is applied the screening the screen is maintained at the arc potential the function of the screen is to eliminate the tangential stress in the dielectric next armoring steel tape of steel wire is used for armoring to protect the cable against mechanical damage the diameter of wires or the thickness of the tape is about 3 mm one or two layers of armoring is applied over pvc insulated inner sheath this is also used for arching the cable next outer sheath it is applied over the armor provides protection against corrosion pvc insulated cables 
has a maximum working temperature of 70 degree centigrade whereas xlp has a maximum working temperature of 90 degree centigrade so current carrying capacity of xlp cable is greater than pvc cable seat loss if three phase three core conductor are stay in same metal sheet then the vector sum of the induced emf on the metal sheet is zero but in case of single phase single core cable voltage is single core cable voltage is induced on the metal sheet and current is flow and the sheet temperature increase the loss due to this temperature is called sheet loss next skin effect due to magnetic induction the current density is increased outside the outside of the conductor decreased inside the conductor due to magnetic induction the current density is increased outside of the conductor and next decreased inside the conductor due to this characteristic resistance of the conductor increases hence the losses increases and the temperature increases to reduce the skin effect and make the conductor flexible the conductor are, are made make stand, stranded the stranded conductor are more flexible than solid conductor proximity effect if ac currents are flowing through one or more other nearby cable then due to induction two voltage just are induced in opposite direction due to this voltage resistance of cable increases hence the temperature also increase this is called proximity effect now i am going to discuss about minimum bending radius of cable as per is here is the voltage up to 1.1 kv types of cable xlp and pvc here is single core multi core up to 1.1 kv is equal to 15 d d means diameter of cable d means diameter of cable and for PVC cable 12D from 1.1 kV to 11 kV XLP cable 15D and PVC cable 15D above 11 kV XLP cable 20D and PVC cable 15D D is equal to diameter of cable here is naming of cables here we see A2X C, W oblique F, Y, 3 into 240 square mm, 19 oblique 33 kb, grade 33 kb within bracket E. Here A is equal to aluminium conductor. A stands for aluminium conductor. 2X stands for XLP cable. C stand for copper screen, W st stand for steel wear armor, F stand for steel strip armor, Y stand for PVC outer sheet and 3 core 240 square mm 33 kb earth cable. Here now I am going to discuss the applied DC test voltage to the cable before commissioning.
here u u zero means system voltage without arcing, and u means system voltage with arcing. Here is the voltage rating of cable. U U zero means system voltage without arcing, and U means system voltage with arcing. Here is now uh, system voltage with arcing one point one kV. The between test voltage is in kV between conductor and screen. Metal sheet armor three between three kV DC between two conductor in the case of screenless cable three kV here is different. Voltage rating of cable: one point one kV, three point three kV, six point six kV, eleven kV, twenty two kV, thirty three kV, sixty six kV, one thirty two kV. All are system voltage with arcing U. And here zero point six five, one point nine kV, three point eight, six point three five, twelve point seven, nineteen, thirty eight, six seventy six. All are system voltage without arcing. And corresponding test voltage: three kV, five kV, ten point five kV. Between conductor and screen, oblique metal sheet armor: ten point five kV, eighteen kV, corresponding to eleven kV, thirty-seven point five kV DC voltage for twenty-two kV, sixty kV. DC voltage for thirty three kV, one thirty kV DC voltage for sixty six kV, two sixty five kV DC voltage for one thirty two kV for the system voltage with arcing U. Here is between two conductor in the case of screenless cable. Three kV, nine kV, eighteen kV, thirty kV. One for this four line. Okay, thank you. If you think the video is useful to you, please share and subscribe. our channel thank you meet you next time bye